Welcome to Empowerment Technologies. Our topic for this video is the imaging and design for online environment. Lesson Objectives Evaluate existing website and online resources based on the principles of layout, graphic, and visual message design. Use image manipulation techniques on existing images to change or enhance their current state to communicate a message for a specific purpose. Create an original or derivative ICT content to effectively communicate a visual message in an online environment related to specific professional trends. Let us first understand what is image. Image is a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art. Images may be two-dimensional such as photograph or screen display, or three-dimensional such as a statue or hologram. They may be captured by optical devices such as cameras, mirrors, lenses, telescopes, microscopes, etc and natural objects and phenomena such as the human eye or water. Next is the graphics and layout. Graphics are visual images or designs on some surface such as a wall, canvas, screen, paper, or stone to inform, illustrate, or entertain. These are also a visual representations of data made on a computer and is displayed on a computer screen or monitor. Some examples of graphics are photographs, drawing, anatomy of typeface, line art, and graphs. Next is the layout. It is the process of planning and arranging graphic element in a page or template. A good layout should have a balanced makeup and alignment of elements. Also, layout is a part of graphic design that deals in the arrangement of visual elements on a page. Here are the basic principles of graphics and layout. We have the balance, emphasis, movement, pattern repetition and rhythm, proportion, and variety. First is the balance. The visual weight of objects, texture, colors, and space is evenly distributed on the screen. When visiting a website, check if one side holds the same amount of weight on the other. Also, the colors should have a similar visual weight. Emphasis An area in the design that may appear different in size, texture, shape, or color to attract the viewer's attention. Movement. These are images, pictures, or visual elements guide the viewer's eye around the screen. Next is the pattern, repetition, and rhythm. These are the repeating visual element on an image or layout to create a unity in the layout or image. Rhythm is achieved when visual elements create a sense of organized movement. Next is the proportion. These are visual elements create a sense of unity where they relate well with one another. And last is the variety. These are images that use several design elements to draw a viewer's attention. So those are the basic principles of graphics and layout. We have the balance, emphasis, movement, pattern repetition and rhythm, proportion, and variety. Next, we have the infographics. Infographics. These are information graphics or infographics used to represent information, a statistical data or knowledge in a graphical manner, usually done in a creative way to attract viewers' attention. Infographics have five principles to create an effective infographics. Number one is be unique. Number two, make it simple. Number three, be creative and bold. Number four, less is more. And number five, 
the importance of getting it across. So these are the five principles wherein you can be an effective in creating your infographics. Image has a format, but we must know what are online images file format that were usually used. The usually used are JPEG, GIF, and PNG. The first one is the JPEG. JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Expert Group. It is the most common use format by digital camera and other capturing device. Also, these are the common format when saving pictures on the internet. Next is the GIF or it stands for Graphic Interchange Format. This file format is not recommended for large images with many colors. Also, the file size are very small and load very fast. And this file format is a good choice for simple animation. Next is the PNG. It stands for Portable Network Graphics. It supports 24-bit images and generate background transparency without jagged edges. And it is a best format for logos that involves transparency and fading. Next is the image manipulation. Every image that we take every day or downloaded online can be manipulated through different software applications like Adobe Photoshop, PixArt, Google Photos, and more. In image manipulation, we can edit to modify, adjust, or change to correct the pictures that we take it. First that we almost do is to crappy, wherein we were cutting parts away to remove distracting or irrelevant elements. Next is the color balance. It is the ambience and tone of light of the picture. Example is the warm or cool light. Brightness and contrast. It is one of the most basic techniques in image editing, making the image darker or lighter. Next is the filters. Filters making the image look sketch, grainy, classic black and white, or even let it have neon colors. And these filters gives your image a twist from its original look. Cloning. Cloning is the copying or duplicating a part of an image. Example of this is we can use the Adobe Photoshop using cloning tool. Next is the changing the background. We can change the background by adding background to make your image stand out. Removing color. Removing certain colors in your image or desaturating the color of image. Last is the combining text, graphics, and color. This image manipulation can add multiple elements in your layout. So those are image manipulation that we can modify, adjust, or edit. These are cropping, color balance, brightness and contrast, filters, cloning, changing the background, removing color, and combining text, graphics, and color. This is an example of an image manipulation. It is started with one picture of the squirrel, and the picture turned into this. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned a lot in imaging and designing for online environment. See you to our next lesson. Next topic is